now i will show you visual basic common errors which you will encounter during your programming period i will create this errors intentionally and for the sample i will show you so now you can see visual basic interface now add a command button and write the code dim i as byte byte is a number type data type its maximum value is 255 so here you can write 255 so now assign value i is equal to 256 so if you assign any value more than 255 it will give an error so let's see the error start the program click the command button so you can see error have come the error is overflow so overflow means the limit have crossed if you click on debug so that line will be highlighted so instead of 256 if you write 255 and press play now you can see it have continued no error have come so i have shown you one type of error now take a second example that byte stores only numbers and instead of this numbers if you try to store alphabets suppose like single a so it doesn't match so see what type of error will come start the program click the command button so you can see the error type mismatch it means you are trying to store such a value which is not allowed so go to debug you can see it gets highlighted so it's saying a cannot be stored inside i because i is byte and byte can only store numbers from 0 to 255 so stop the program so let's move to our next example suppose add a text box and in text box we can program in the command button that if i press the text will be changed so double click on it remove all this so you have to write here text1 dot so whenever you press dot the property list comes if this list doesn't comes it means this text1 name is not proper suppose by mistake if you have written 11 and you press dot you can see list is not coming for every control for accessing properties you have to press dot and by pressing dot the list should come so correct this and choose text and here you can write in double quote suppose a if you click on this command button it stores a in the text box now suppose by mistake you write here 11 so it means this control doesn't exists there is no text box with the name text 11 now start as you press the command button you can see the message comes object required so text box is a object command button is another object so object required means there is no text box with the name text 11 you can see in this whole form there is only one text box so as you press debug it will take you to that line the line will be yellow in color so you can understand that there is some problem in this line you can stop the program and remove this code let's return back to that code only now suppose if everything is okay and you forget to write is equal to so what error it will give start click on the command button invalid use of property so press okay so it says something is missing here so you can give is equal to start the program click you can see it is working fine now suppose if the property name by chance you have given double t or anything else the property which doesn't exists now let's see what message comes method or data member not found 
so it means you have given a wrong property which doesn't exist so you can stop now let's see another example add a combo box and this test box you can delete to add an item in a combo box you have to write the codes combo one dot add item and in double quote you have to write a b c anything you like start the program open it you see nothing is there click on the command button now you can see one item is added so in add item you don't have to write skull 2 but sometime by mistake if you write skull 2 see what error will come start the program click on it argument not optional so this message comes so press ok and you can remove this skull 2 and correct the problem you can see it is working fine I remove this code now right here dim a as integer a is equal to 10 now see the case for if if a is equal to 10 if you press enter then see what error comes the error is compile error expected then or go to so it says something is missing actually then is missing go to you have to never write with if so press ok and here you have to write then and as you come down this line is correct every if has to be ended with end if suppose if you forget to write end if let's see what error comes the programs get started click on the button you can see block if without end if this error comes you can press ok and stop the program now one question comes in a big program there can be hundreds of ifs so is there any way that at one go it finds all there is a way whenever we start a program we used to press the start button or we used to press F5 there is something called control F5 start with full compile so time to time you should run the codes with control F5 you can see press control F5 so you can see without starting the program it have given you the alert that block if without end if but if you press only F5 you can see program has started the error is there in the program but when you will press this command button then only you will come to know about the error so you can see as I pressed the error have come so better way is you press control F5 time to time when you when you have changed a lot of codes so you can remove all this now our next example for loop right here for a is equal to 1 to 10 and for every for you have to write next suppose you have forgotten to write next see what errors it gives start as you click on the command button the message comes for without next so for is there without next so add next so stop the program and you can make this next enable and if you press ctrl f5 you can see without running the program it have found that something is missing that is next is missing so if you write next and start the program you can see it is working fine if instead of this for if you write double r right now only it says expected end of statement there is some error so you can make single R. if you remove this is equal to again it says expected is equal to so you can write here now remove this if you write like a is equal to 
in double in single quote double quote if you write the text and if you forget to give double quote close if you forget and if you come down you can see it automatically adds so this is the good thing of visual basic now i will show you few more errors remove all this suppose there is a file and you want to delete so you have to write kill and the path c colon slash suppose the name is a dot txt open c drive so you can see the file doesn't exist so as you run this program you can see the error file not found so it is giving a very meaningful error by this we can understand easily file not found so now go to c drive and add a file right click new go to text and rename this and give single a dot text now stop the program start again if you click you can see it is deleted now suppose the file is there create again and suppose it is right, right protected so right click go to properties and put tick mark read only so now it is right protected it means you cannot delete it so if you try to delete such file what error comes press ok restart the program click on the command button so you can see the error path file access error so it means either file is not accessible either the path is not accessible so this line it is not able to run so I will show you few more samples examples so remove this now add a grid so for that go to project go to component go to Microsoft Hierarchical flex grid and put a tick mark and as you press ok uh, icon will be added here you can see icon has been added come to interface remove all this unnecessary move down now add a grid go to its name property you can see its name is quite bigger make it simple by typing grid now as we know it have two rows and two columns try to access beyond that so come to command button and right here grid dot test matrix now suppose give 5 comma 5 which doesn't exist and now try to give a value like a so this code will try to store it will display single A in the fifth row and fifth column but that doesn't exist so see what error comes start click on the button you can see subscript out of range so it says it is out of range so it means instead of 5 5 if you give 0 and 0 it will come inside the range start you can see it have come inside the range and A have got displayed in zero row and zero column so now I will show you one last example of error of a toolbar so to add a toolbar go to project go to components and select Microsoft common controls Microsoft Windows common controls 6.0 click on it as you press ok few icons will be added here you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 around 9 tools has been added so come to the interface delete this grid not required now this is toolbar double click on it it has been added to add buttons right click and go to properties buttons insert 1 2 3 suppose 3 buttons I have added click on ok now I will try to access the fourth button see what error comes double, double click on the command button and here you can write toolbar dot button and in the brackets you can give 
any number which doesn't exist let's take 5 is equal to and give single a so it gives a caption to button number fifth but it doesn't exist so it will give an error let's see see error is coming index out of bounds so index means the number doesn't exist so press debug instead of 5 let's make it 2 and then restart the program you can see it have come in the second button so this comes to the end of our tutorial of errors thank you